somber morning observers. We have a look at the sun today. We've got the top science articles to hit, but first, didn't sleep much last night. Was thinking about Robert Felix, author of two of the major catastrophism books the last few decades, creator of the IceAgeNow.info website. Was thinking about our interview together a few years ago, how we've chatted almost monthly since then, how he was slated to be the first special guest at Observer Ranch next year when we open, and how I spoke with him just a few weeks ago. Robert Felix passed on June 10th after an unimaginably rapid decline in his health. I'm fairly devastated. A few weeks ago, he was fine. Just got the jab. Excited to do another video together to announce his Observer Ranch premiere appearance. Then he needed a cane, went into a wheelchair, and finally passed. All in just a few weeks. His website, his books, his articles on the ongoing magnetic excursion of Earth, and how dangerous of a situation we are all entering now. They're still up for the time being. Robert. Goodbye, my friend. Forgive the remainder of the show as it's hard to hide detail video edit through watery eyes, but the sun continued its small-scale eruptive activity around the limbs. Northern active region is coming into visibility today or tomorrow. Time to see if that earth-facing quiet from the last sunspot cycle steps into play here. Solar wind is calm, solar flaring is calm, but both have chances to ramp up this week. Quick stop over at Venus next, where the best treatment of images has revealed the same sort of geography lines as we see in the surface ice of some of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Only this is not ice. The tectonics of Venus just got interesting for the scientists. An outstanding look back at the end Permian extinction, and this one attempts to explain the global nickel distribution with volcanic activity. I have seen worse explanations, and there were major volcanoes at the time, but the better thing for veteran observers to remember is the nickel production potential of nova events, and they already blame such nova on Pleistocene megafaunal extinctions. Let's take a step back in time and look at the primary solar change article from a few months ago. The galactic magnetic reversal is finally beginning to work the sun's magnetic fields, which work the coronal chemistry, starting with the helium. We know this is underway but we really don't know how far along we are. The uncertainties in solar chemistry can reach 25%, often skewed to match previous expectations. And on top of that uncertainty, this is the first paper since about 2008 to discuss the importance of accretion from material from the interstellar medium. It was like, all of a sudden, that topic became off limits, and here it is again. Folks, I think Robert Felix is going to be a topic of discussion this Thursday night at the local observer's event. If you are in the Colorado Springs area, it is just the normal price of admission to the roller rink we've rented out for the observers. Do need to pre-register here, though. I can say that after last night, I could use some time with my extended family, Ustedes. Working on that special video I mentioned yesterday, dedicating it to Robert. I'll see you tomorrow for a full daily update. Be safe, everyone.